Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alton. I am so glad that you could join me for a very special holiday episode. I can't help but notice that our neighbors to the south are just finishing up their turkey dinners and Black Friday sales are rampant. Well, perhaps you have a significant other like myself who has absolutely zero interest in watches. When I talk about watches, her eyes glaze over. But when it comes to the holidays, I bet she wishes she'd paid a little bit more attention because she always says, I don't know what to get you. I don't want to get you the wrong thing. And so I thought I would make a video that would be something you could pass along to your significant other and say, hey, here are top 12 ideas for Christmas gifts or Hanukkah gifts or just because gifts, whatever you might be celebrating or not celebrating this December. Now, of course, when it comes to a Christmas gift list, the options are almost limitless. So I thought I need to reserve myself to certain categories. And so the gifts that I have in mind are the kinds of gifts that you would give to a new watch enthusiast. Someone who's just getting into the hobby, six months, 12 months, a year and a half into the hobby, and they're still finding their way. I don't know about you, but when I was a new collector, I tried out all kinds of different watches and accessories before I started to really get a feel for what I liked. So what I've done is put together a list of watches and accessories that I think the new collector would really appreciate. And I've kept everything in the fairly affordable category because unless you're the kind of person who starts their collection with a Rolex Submariner and uh, Omega Seamaster, you're probably starting out in the Orient Seiko category, maybe dabbling in AliExpress. And so most of the watches and most of the items I'm gonna show you are pretty affordable in this list. So sit back, grab a pen or a pencil, take some notes and prepare to watch this video and send those notes on to your loved ones. I'm gonna put links down in the description. None of them are affiliate links. I'm not making any money off this except for maybe the $3 in YouTube revenue. I also thought I might break this list up into two videos just to make it a little bit easier for you to digest. And so this is part one. Let's go. So I thought I'd start the video with watches because of course every watch collector loves watches and I'm gonna break them down into certain categories. The first category that I have for us is chronographs. New watch collectors, all watch collectors love chronographs and I have three fairly affordable ones for you today. The first one I want to show you is this Pagani Design PD1718. I actually reviewed this one on my channel. It's a Black Bay homage, and it's a really, really well done watch. The price on this is $84.99, and you can get discounts on AliExpress. I would encourage you to get familiar with AliExpress and check it out. They have different colorways, as you can see. Some are less to my taste. Some are a little bit more to my taste. This is the one that I have here. The bracelet or the strap are the same price. Go for the bracelet. Your watch collector friend is probably going to have all kinds of straps that they can put on this thing anyway. The next watch on our list is one I haven't seen personally, but I'd really like to see. I've checked out some reviews and it looks fantastic. And it's by Baltany. Now I actually had another one in mind and I have, it's one that's coming into the channel but it's currently backordered. It's sold out in the 1111 sale. So this is my second pick. It is a beautiful looking watch. It's my second pick though, because it doesn't have a running seconds hand and that tends to be my preference. So it's simply the Baltany Retro Chronograph and it comes in at 125 US dollars. All my prices are in US dollars. And you should be able to find a discount on this pretty easily. This black colorway is the one that I really think looks great. But they also have a white with tan indices and they have the white with the black subdials. The loom on it looks all right. Probably not the best. No sign crown, not a, a fancy watch, but a very wearable watch. It's got a VK64 and it's 39 millimeters, which means that it's gonna fit small to large wrists. It's right in that sweet spot. Your watch enthusiast friend 
is probably someone who's looking for a watch that's around 38 to 42 millimeters, depending on the size of wrist that they have. So 39 fits in this slot really nicely. The third chronograph for us today is by Timex, and this is the most expensive one on the list, and it's one I just reviewed. It's perhaps not the best value, but to me, it's the most fun watch, and it's the most original design as they've gone back into their own archives. Although, yeah, they really did kind of take some inspiration from some vintage Rolex Daytona as well. But this one here is 219 on a bracelet. You can save some money if you go for leather. Again, go for the bracelet. It's a really nice bracelet. This one here is a very wearable size. It's 40 millimeters stainless steel. This one doesn't have sapphire crystal, unlike the other two. Sapphire crystal is more scratch resistant than mineral crystal. It actually says it has mineral crystal, but it's more of a plexiglass sort of situation. But the nice thing about the plastic crystal is that you can buy something called Polywatch, which isn't on my list and probably should be. It's about 10, 15 bucks. And it's a compound that you rub onto the crystal and you can actually take scratches out. It doesn't work on sapphire. It does not work on mineral, but it does work on any plastic based crystal, which this has. So uh, check out the review if you think this watch might be of interest to you. Our next category is divers. Dive watches are the most popular category in all of watch collecting. People love divers. And I have three affordable divers for you. We're going to start with the Steel Dive. So this is the Steel Dive SD 1970 6105, and it takes its inspiration from a Seiko turtle. So it, it basically is a homage or a clomage, if you will, of a Seiko turtle. But the Seiko Turtle can be upwards of $1,000. This thing is $103. And I bet if you go to AliExpress, you can get some discounts and some sales right now and get it even cheaper. The trick with Seiko, and thus this watch here, is how well they wear. It is a 43.8 millimeter diameter case, which is really large but it actually wears a lot smaller because it's lug to lug. That is from the tip of one lug to the tip of the other lug is under 47 millimeters. So uh, I hear that these are very nice to wear. I've tried on the Seiko version. I have seen Steel Dive in person. They do really great stuff for very little amounts of money. And so I would encourage you to check this out. They do have all kinds of colors, but I really like this black one with the red seconds hand here. I think it looks really nice. There's the blue rubber strap. I usually recommend going for the bracelet and the bracelet on this looks really nice. So that is the way I would go. And of course, if you want to pick up some rubber straps to go with it, you can always find out the lug width in the description and then check out later on in this video because I'm going to have some rubber straps for you. For number two, we go over to Long Island Watch. I know Mark fairly well at, through the internet, not in person as he lives in Long Island. He is a great guy. I've purchased three watches from Long Island Watch and the customer service is fantastic. I have a, a video about some aviator watches and you can hear all about that there if you'd like. This is one that really caught my eye. This is the Islander Southhold. It's a 42 millimeter automatic dive watch and I really really dig this red color with that red date window down here at the six. Looks really nice, very bold, very legible. Mark always does amazing loom. He puts really good quality bracelets on these things. And right now in the Good Friday sale, it's $189. That's a tremendous value. So what Long Island Watch often does in their Islander line is they take a popular Seiko model and they sort of tweak it, redesign it, and then they beef it up. They give it better specs and then they produce it for about 25% of the price of the Seiko. So you're always getting tremendous value in the Islander watches. And what I really like about it is that you get that customer service to go along with the value. So unlike some AliExpress stores, if you do have a problem, you can message Mark and he personally is going to take care of it. In fact, I can tell you that he took care of an issue that I had on Christmas Day a couple years ago. Now, if that isn't customer service, I don't know what is. And for a third dive watch, I'm going over to Seiko. Now this model before us is sold out, but if you can find one, it is super, super cool. 
And I'll tell you, your watch enthusiast friend or, or husband or wife is going to really, really appreciate the effort that you took to get one of these. It's a, a new collaboration and it's a little bit more expensive. It's $440 at full price. And if it's sold out, you might have to find it full price on eBay or, or such. But it's a cool watch. Now, if you don't like this particular model, it uses the SKX case, which is a case that comes out of, I believe, the 80s. And it was an iconic dive watch, which has been discontinued and has been resurrected in the Seiko 5 lineup. If you go to Macy's right now, you can find Seiko 5 SKX style watches with this case, just in different dial colors, different handsets and such for around 200 bucks. Like they're super cheap. In Canada at, at the Bay right now, I know they had them on sale for 200 and 35 bucks or something. And you know, 235 Canadian is about $8 US. So great deal if you can find one or if you want to splurge a little bit and find this model here. It's a very, very wearable size. Again, as we talk about Seiko, they always put some really great specs on their watches. And so definitely uh, worth checking out in our dive watch segment. The next category is affordable military watches. So we're talking dive watches and aviation watches primarily. Now, San Martin is not the most affordable brand on AliExpress, but it's one of the best. And there's a couple different versions of this watch. This watch is a Tudor Ranger clone or homage, if you will. And you can get a cheaper one with Pagani design, but I really think that it's worth the money to get this version from San Martin. They have 38 millimeters and 36 millimeter versions. You're probably gonna wanna go for the 38 to have the broadest appeal, unless your significant other has a really small wrist, then go down to the 36. It is a fantastic looking watch with tremendous dimensions. I have reviewed a San Martin watch and the finishing on San Martin watches is exceptional. Just take a, a look at that. It's a 38 millimeter in diameter, 47 lug to lug, only 12 millimeters thick with 20 millimeter lug width. So the lug width, that's, that's the strap size, the width of the strap. 20 millimeters is the most common size. Probably 22 is the next most common size. So any straps that they have that are 20 millimeters will fit on this watch, but it looks like it has a really nice bracelet. So I don't think that they'll be needing to do too many strap changes. The price for this is $225. So it is a little on the steeper side, but I think that this is a great one to consider. Our next military style watch is a great one from Baltany. And this one, it comes in cheaper than the San Martin at only $89. Now it is a quartz watch and many enthusiasts don't love quartz watches. If you think they would only prefer a mechanical for an extra 50 or so dollars, you can get mechanical similar versions to this. This company is called Baltany and they seem to be taking AliExpress and the budget watch collectors by storm. This is an homage to old World War watches of World War II. Now it has the sub seconds dial here, which is your seconds hand. And because it's quartz, it's going to tick instead of sweep. But because it's a sub seconds dial, it's smaller, less visually impactful. And so you don't really notice the quartz ticking away as much, which is why I think this might be a great one for a new watch collector who'd like to try out this style of watch for not a whole lot of money. When you look at the specifications, you'll see that it's made of stainless steel as you're looking for. It has a VD 78 quartz movement, um, sandblasted finish, dome sapphire crystal with AR coating. You're always looking for words like AR coating, sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance. You could swim with this thing. Swiss Super Luminova, which is one of the best luminations that you can buy for a watch. That's what makes those indices glow. Now this one is 36 millimeters without the crown, only 11 millimeters thick. So this is on the smaller side, but they do make a larger version. So if you think that that's something you would like to do, you can always look on their website for that larger version. 
You know, it's really hard to talk about affordable field watches without talking about Seiko. And here we have another Seiko. It's a Seiko 5. Now, this one is $176 at Macy's right now on their Black Friday sale. Even full price, it's not a whole lot of money. The specs on this are 39 millimeters. Again, great size for most people. They have different colorways. I've got the orange and green version here, 300 meters of water resistance. And if you go to Macy's, they're an authorized dealer. So that does make a big difference if you have an issue with the watch. Just a, a great looking mechanical watch. You can see the movement there, the side of the case, pretty simple field watch, great size. It's really hard to go wrong with Seiko. You can see that they have other versions here as well. This blue one's pretty nice. They also have a strictly field watch, but it is bigger. I think it's 42 millimeters. So perhaps that's a little bit on the bigger side for some people. Yeah, you can see here it's 43 millimeters. Now with Seiko at this price range, you're getting Hardlex Crystal, which is a mineral crystal that's been beefed up a little bit. I personally haven't scratched one yet, but they're definitely not as scratch proof as a sapphire crystal. But what you get with Seiko is, well, you get a Seiko and uh, there's something to be said for that. You get originality and you get a great brand that makes their own movements, is a huge company and has always been a pioneer in modern watchmaking. So uh, Seiko has always got to be on the budget list. Well, for number four, we're getting away from watches into more watch accessories. I want to talk about leather straps. Now, if we're talking about affordable leather straps, there's one brand that I always recommend. I discovered them not too long ago, and it is Nomad Watch Works. You see, they make really great straps at affordable prices. A lot of the time, you need to go much higher in price to get really good straps. Beware of straps that say genuine leather, because genuine leather really just means that it came from a cow. It doesn't mean that it's actually good leather. You're going to want to look for words like vegetable tanned, full grain, horween. These are the kinds of words you're looking for. Now, Nomad Watchworks manages to pack a lot into their straps for very little. $35. These are really nice uh, textured grain kind of straps. I did review these straps, so... You can check that out if you want to. And really, they have a huge selection of straps if you're interested. The Pueblo straps are among my favorites. You can get them for Apple watches, whatever kind of watch that you might have. And again, what you're going to want to do is maybe say to your significant other, hey, um, what size are most of your, your watches? Are they 20 millimeters? Are they 22 millimeters? Or you could just go to their watch box with a ruler and figure out how wide most of their straps are, where it connects to the watch. Probably either 18, 20, or 22 millimeters. Another brand of watch strap that I really enjoy is Watch Gecko. Now their watches range in price from, you can get stuff for 30 bucks on sale up to $200 or more. And so you really have to be discerning in this. I like to check out their leather straps and then go to the handmade leather section. So these ones aren't machine made, these are handmade. They're going to use a really nice Italian leather in this example, $96, so it definitely is more money. But you can see this graining on this strap is not printed, that is natural graining. On a cheap watch strap, what they do is they sand it down and then they stamp in or print on the, the texture and the graining. You'll see that in your shoes and your boots that you, get at Walmart or Payless or, or whatever. It might be leather, but that's not real graining. That's why it looks so perfect and uniform. Well, you know, part of straps is that they wear over time. They patina, they age, they take on character. And so you want a strap that has its own unique character. I personally really like the vintage Italian leather straps from Watch Gecko. I've really enjoyed those over time. And I've also utilized these highly straps, which are really nice. Now, Watch Gecko does a lot of sales, so just keep a lookout for the sales, but you do have to jump on them because they do sell out. So check out Watch Gecko. Mostly, you can't go wrong with them. They're not the most affordable, but they definitely aren't the most expensive. And if you go for their stuff that's vegetable, tan, full grain, you're going to have a good time with these straps. And your third option for straps is just to go to Etsy. 
Check out Etsy. They have so many people all around the world that work with quality leather and usually at a really affordable price. Now, not always affordable, but a lot of the time you can find some stuff that is really nice. So you're going to want to search for words like Horween, full grain, Italian leather, and you're going to want to look for straps that just aren't too perfect. You can check out this Horween strap here. You see how there's a bit of graining and pattern here. That's not printed on. That's that's simply the strap itself. Now this is a strap that I get asked about all the time because I have it in one of my San Martin videos. I have it with the black stitching, I believe in this exact same colorway. And people are always saying, where did you get it? I can't always find it on Etsy, but I just happened to find it now. So if you're one of those people wondering where I got this strap, really nice strap. It's a little bit more rough. As you can see, the stitching is not as precise and, and thin. They use a heavy gauge stitching, but it works really well in the watch that I've paired with it. So go on Etsy, check it out. Take a look around and I bet you're going to find some really great stuff on there that's unique that will be a great Christmas or Hanukkah gift this year. When it comes to NATO straps, I love Blue Shark. They are my favorite NATO strap brand. In fact, I'm wearing one today right now on my Bolova here or Bolova, depending on how you want to say it. These straps are fantastic. They make different versions. My favorite is this one here, the Alpha Shark Slimline. You can't go wrong with a classic Bond NATO strap. It's one that James Bond wore in the movies and people absolutely love them. They also have black buckles a lot of the time so you can switch between a brushed buckle or a PVD buckle which is your black buckle. Uh, the polished ones are great if it's on a dressier piece but I often go for brushed on my NATOs because a lot of the time it goes on a military style watch that has a brushed case. So check these out. I mean, how good would that strap there look on a military field watch? Look so, so good, especially if the watch had vintage loom. Another great one that they have is the Premier seatbelt strap. So these are a little bit thicker, but they're really well made, really nice quality. And they have a more of a variety of colors in this strap selection. And then there's one more I want to show you, and that is their pajama stretch straps. Now, I haven't personally purchased these from Blue Shark. I didn't know they actually had them. Now that I do, I will be purchasing at only $24. These are stretchy like elastics, and they are so comfortable. And I highly recommend them. I need to get a few more in my collection. You can get just a basic red here. They've got blue with a red stripe, green. This gray one would be very versatile. Yeah, really nice option there. Blue shark straps, check them out. Again, I'm not making any money from them or anybody else on this list. I just really like their stuff. And for number six, and we're gonna stop here for today, is a canvas strap. I have good news for you. Canvas straps are super cheap on amazon.com. Barton is the name to go for right now. They're on sale for $18.40. So you can click on a color, pick your size. You can see the sizes here. It'll tell you which colors are available in those sizes. And then just have at it. Buy a few stocking stuffers. Yes, please. Barton makes great stuff. Another company that makes very similar stuff is Richie Watch Bands. And I really can't tell the difference between the two. I think they come out of the same factory. And Richie has sent me in stuff, so I should promote them because they've been good to me. And they make equally as good stuff. So check it out. Barton Watch Bands, Richie Watch Bands, whatever you can get at a good price. Great canvas stuff. You can also go online and find some great canvas watch straps if you go to Etsy. Just like with leather, they have some pretty cool stuff. But again, be aware. Pay attention to the quality. Look at the stitching. Make sure it's accurate. I just think that canvas watch bands are so comfortable, so durable. They're great if you're getting sweaty because they dry out very quickly, they wash up easily, and they're cheap. Really, it's a no-brainer to add to the Christmas tree this year. Well, there you have it. Those are my picks in these categories. There are so many more that I could have picked, but I had to limit myself to just these few. Let me know down in the description if you have any other suggestions. I'm sure that you do. And please forward this link on to your significant other or perhaps your mom or your dad or someone that loves you. 
if you find this helpful for them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.